Saint Aristides was a 2nd century Christian Greek, Athenian philosopher and apologist, who is primarily known as the author of the Apology of Aristides. His feast day is celebrated every August 31st in Roman Catholicism and September 13th in Eastern Orthodoxy. According to the account of two Christian historians, Eusebius of Caesarea and Saint Jerome, Aristides practiced philosophy in Athens, where he lived, prior to and after his conversion to Christianity. Eusebius wrote in his ecclesiastical history, Aristides also, a faithful disciple of our religion, has left an apology of the faith dedicated to Hadrian. This suggests that Aristides gave his apology during Hadrian's reign from 117 to 138 as Emperor of Rome, which supports the theory of Aristides died between the years 133-134 AD. The apology, written by Aristides is said to be the oldest Christian apologetic work preserved until the contemporary era. The Apology begins with a formal inscription to the Emperor Titus Hadrianus Antoninus Augustus Pius. I understood that he who moves them is God, who is hidden in him, and veiled by them. And it is manifest that that which causes motion is more powerful than that which is moved. Here are some excerpts of how Aristides describes the Christians. The Christians, then, trace the beginning of their religion from Jesus the Messiah, and he is named the Son of God Most High. And it is said that God came down from heaven, and from a Hebrew virgin assumed and clothed himself with flesh, and the Son of God lived in a daughter of man. This Jesus, then, was born of the race of the Hebrews, and he had twelve disciples in order that the purpose of his incarnation might in time be accomplished. But he himself was pierced by the Jews, and he died and was buried, and they say that after three days he rose and ascended to heaven. Thereupon these twelve disciples went forth throughout the known parts of the world and kept showing his greatness with all modesty and uprightness. And hence also those of the present day who believe that preaching are called Christians, and they are become famous. But the Christians are just and good, and the truth is set before their eyes, and their spirit is long-suffering, and, therefore, Though they know the error of these, the Greeks, and are persecuted by them, they bear and endure it, and for the most part they have compassion on them, as men who are destitute of knowledge. And on their side, they offer a prayer that these may repent of their error, and when it happens that one of them has repented, he is ashamed before the Christians of the works which were done by him, and he makes a confession to God, saying, I did these things in ignorance. And he purifies his heart, and his sins are forgiven him because he committed them in ignorance in the former time when he used to blaspheme and speak evil of the true knowledge of the Christians. And assuredly the race of the Christians is more blessed than all the men who are upon the face of the earth. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.